Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome back to another Sheetify tutorial. Today's focus is to navigate through our Google Sheets project management toolkit and show you how you can automate email notifications. For example, if a project or task status has changed, then automatically an email will be sent to the assignee of that project or task. That way you and your team can stay on top of projects and tasks. Now just quickly and before we dive in, if you're unfamiliar with Sheetify, essentially we have three Sheetify toolkits. These are Google Sheets business templates. We have a Google Sheets CRM, bookkeeping and project management template. These are powerful business toolkits built with Google Sheets and AppScript. Each of these products are only a one-time payment with lifetime access and future updates. These are business toolkit solutions for small businesses. Okay, so as I mentioned, here we are inside our Sheetify Projects Toolkit. If you're completely new to this Google Sheets project management template, what I'll do is add the appropriate tutorial down below that will navigate through all the tools and features that this template has to offer. Today, we'll just be focusing on email notifications. Okay, so once you've set up your Sheetify Projects template by navigating up to the Sheetify menu and then coming down to Set Up Sheetify and Set Authorization, you'll be able to start working inside of Sheetify projects. Then what you want to do is navigate down to settings. And here, what we want to do is add our custom values in here. Again, we talk more about this in the complete tutorial, which I'll link up above and down below in the description. Now, in terms of setting up email notifications, here we first want to add team details. Go ahead and add your team members in here, then add their emails over here. Once you've added their emails, you can add their phone numbers and then select the team that that individual is assigned to. For example, Stuart Gould is assigned to sales. And here we have our different team types over here. Simply click on the drop down to allocate the team type. Then once you've set up team settings, navigate over to projects and tasks. Here we are on projects. All you need to do is go ahead and add your project name as well as all of these project details. And the same is with tasks. All you need to do is add the project and the group that the task is assigned to and then add the task details across here. As you can see, we have our task assignees under assignee. And if we navigate back over to projects, we have our project assignees. Now let's navigate over to email templates. This is where we can customize our different email templates. For example, up here we have custom emails that we can manually send to our team. So all of these emails from custom email one all the way down to custom email six. Then below this, we have email notification templates. And these are our automatic email notifications that we can customize. Let's first quickly take a look at our manual emails. For example, over here, we have this custom email, team project update request. Maybe we want to send an email to the assignee of a specific project. We want to know how the project is going, and this is the body of the email here. And you can customize this how you like. Now inside these curly brackets, we have these placeholder text. This allows us to bring in personalized content inside our emails. As you can see with this particular email, this is the email subject, this is the email body. If we look at the email subject, we have how is project project going? So that's going to bring in the project name and then team is going to bring in the specific team that's associated with that project. Again, you can customize these if you like. And by using these placeholder snippets of code, we can personalize all our different emails. If we navigate over to settings and navigate across and under internal email settings, automatically these codes will already be set up for you. Project will pull in the project, like I mentioned. The name will pull in the assignee's name. The task will bring in the task. And then we have more down here that we can use. If you want to pull in specific personalized information from your database, you can also select something else. For example, cost, and you can add the associated code that you want to use over here. As you can see, I just added cost, and now I can use this in our email templates. Okay, so how do emails work? Let's navigate over to tasks. And let's say for this project here, focus group, the task name is example task D, and this is assigned to me, Stuart Gould. What I can do is navigate across and click here. So I wanna send an email to this assignee, to myself, or this could be another team member. Then all I would do is navigate up to Sheetify, send team email, and I can choose the email that I want to send. These are the task based emails. Do I want to send a task update request, requesting information about this specific task and the progress of this task? Or do I want to send an assignee task feedback request? Maybe the task has been completed 
and I want to ask the assignee how that task went, then I could simply send this email. Again, I can navigate over to project emails, and these are all the emails in regards to projects. Again, similar to tasks, I can send an assignee project update request, or if the project is completed, I could send the assignee a project feedback request. I want to get feedback on how that project went. And then we have send team project update request and send team project feedback request. So these two emails will be sent to the project assignee and these two emails will be sent to the entire team, all the individuals that are part of the team that's assigned to this project. Okay, so let's simply send a task email. I'm going to send an assignee update request. You'll see this notification come down and click on yes, I want to send an assignee task update request email. And then you'll see that notification appear down here. And this is an example of the email that has been sent. Hey Stuart Gould, and remember this was a placeholder name code snippet. So it's pulled in the name of the assignee. How is task, example task D, which is the task name, going as part of project focus group, which is the name of that project. Is there anything else I can help you with? Let me know. Head over to task sheet to view task details. If I click here, that's gonna take me back to the tasks sheet. Okay, let's head back to Sheetify projects. Hey, just quickly, before you get back into this tutorial, if you're getting value from this video, please drop a like and subscribe. This means a lot to me and ultimately helps us reach and help more small business owners across YouTube. Thank you in advance. And with that quick note, let's jump back into this video. Okay, so we just sent that task email. Now let's navigate over to projects. And let's say I want to send myself or this individual here an email requesting information about how this project is going, Dan's group. So what I would do is navigate across, click on the email notification, this tick box here, and we can select multiple if we like, then navigate up to Sheetify, send team email, then project emails, and I'm going to send assignee project update request. Come down, click on yes. And as you can see, we get a notification here. And let's preview what that email looks like. And again, you can see that email here. How is Project Dan's group going, Stuart Gould? Again, it's pulled in my name, the project's name over here, in the body as well as the subject, and then the team name over here. This project is assigned to you and team project. Let's head back to Sheetify Projects and then navigate down to Email Templates. Again, as I just showed you, we just sent this email here. Assignee Project Update Request. Again, we can make changes here if we like. We can personalize the subject as well as the body if we like. Now let's navigate down over to email notification templates. Now this is a really cool email automation feature that we built inside of Sheetify projects. To enable automatic email notifications, we first need to navigate up to Sheetify, then come down to set up Sheetify and click on enable email notifications as well as enable overdue notifications. And you can turn these off at any time. And this is going to enable, let's click here. And as you can see, that's going to enable this automatic email notification feature. Again, I'm going to navigate up, come down to set up Sheetify, and then click on enable overdue notifications. And just like that, overdue email notifications are set up correctly. Now let's navigate over to this first email automation. And this is a project status update. When project status changes, this email will be sent to the project assignee. Again, you can customize the email subject as well as the email body if you like. And you can add the placeholder code depending on the personalization you want in each of your email notifications. So I'm happy with this for now. Again, when project status changes, this email will be sent to the project assignee. So let's navigate over to projects. And if we navigate across, you can see that this project here, project blue, again, is assigned to me. And then we have the status active. If I click here and change the status, to let's say needs review, then automatically a project status update email will be sent. And that's gonna be sent to the project assignee. Again, let's jump into my inbox. And as you can see, this is the default email notification. Again, you can customize this how you like. Project blue project status update. And you can see that's pulled in the project name. Down here is the project assignee. This email is to notify you that your assigned project, project blue, has a new status of needs review and that's automatically pulled in the new status. This project is assigned to you and the sales team. 
which is the assigned team. Then if the user clicks project sheets, that's going to take them directly back to the project sheet inside of Sheetify projects. Let's head back to Sheetify projects and then navigate over to email templates again. Now we also have the same email notification, but for task status updates. When task status changes, this email will be sent to the task assignee. Let's navigate over to tasks. And again, if we navigate over to this task, and let's say the task status changes to completed. Task status update email has been sent to this email which is associated to this account, Stuart Gould. Let's navigate back over to email templates and then we have these other email notifications over here like project overdue update, task overdue update. So when a project is overdue or a task is overdue, then these email notifications will be sent to the project and task assignee. Then we also have project over budget update and project over hours update. So when a project cost exceeds plan cost, this email will be sent to the project assignee. And this is the same with hours. When project effort exceeds planned effort, this email will be sent to project assignee. Again, let's navigate over to projects. And over here for this particular project, Dan's group, you can see there's only one task and the plan cost is 5,000. The actual cost based on tasks is 1,030. Now, if this actual cost exceeds the plan cost, an email notification will be sent. For example, let's navigate over to tasks. And here we have Dan's group and we have the one task over here. You can see the cost is 1,030. Now let's change this, or I could add a new task with an additional cost. Let's change that to 5,030, so $30 over. And as you can see, project over budget, an email has been sent to the project assignee. Let's navigate back over to projects, and you can see that project here, Dan's group, if we navigate across, is now in the red because our actual costs exceed the planned costs. Again, the same as with hours, planned hours is 50, the actual effort invested is only two hours so far. But again, let's navigate over to tasks, and here we are on that same task. Let's change this to 52. Or again, I can add a new task that's associated with this project and add the allocated hours. And if those hours exceed the planned effort, then an email notification will be sent. As you can see, project over hours. If I navigate over to projects, you can see that the actual cost is over the plan cost as well as the actual effort is over the plan effort in hours. Hence why these email automations have been triggered. Again, if we navigate over to email templates, you can customize these the way that you like. And in future updates, we'll be adding more email templates that you can leverage in terms of email automations, as well as manual email notifications. And that is everything that I wanted to cover in this email automation tutorial inside of our Sheetify projects, our Google Sheets project management toolkit. Again, that is it. If you got value from this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.